afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgia here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It's April 5th, uh, end of the week. It is a Thursday. That means we are off tomorrow. Uh, there is no trade overnight tonight, uh, but there will be trade Sunday night. So uh, so look for that. The way things ended up for the shortened week, corn today down about a penny and a half, uh, but still up for the week. We did recover pretty well after uh, we had that USDA report last Friday. 14 and a quarter cents higher for May corn this week. Still looking pretty strong. We have a report out next Tuesday. Guys are still looking for tighter ending stocks and could carry us a little higher going into that report. As far as beans, 14 and a half higher. So continuing this track higher, continuing to push up, uh, 31 cents higher this week for the beans. So pretty strong week. Closing near the highs. Same thing as corn. We're expecting to see ending stocks down uh, on Tuesday. Looking for tighter stocks there. Uh, we'll see if we end up getting that as well. But the wheat, a little bit different story. Fundamentals shifting a little bit. We saw good, good, excellent ratings. Uh, good this week. So we ended up setting back in the wheat market. We've got good rains that came across the plains. Um, and wheat down three quarters of a cent today. So not a lot today, but 22 and a quarter cents lower for the week. So we've seen that pressure in the wheat market that may continue. The spread between corn and beans, you buy corn, buy beans, sell wheat. Uh, spreaders were taking, uh, we're, we're liking that spread here today uh, with lighter volume. Looking at some of the outside markets, the dollar up 35 cents. The last three days have been very strong for the dollar. So we've, we've rallied quite a bit over the last couple of days, put us back above 80. We're at 80.30. We've seen a dollar 16 rally this week. So very strong. So after Bernanke had come out earlier this week saying that, guess what, guys? We're not going to need QE3. We're not going to need this. Uh, we saw the dollar uh, shift directions. And so we've seen a boost from that dollar. We'll see if that can carry into next week as well. But if we start taking out some of this resistance level for the dollar and get the dollar trending higher, we may see some money come off the table. Right now, the dollar was going down. We saw risk-on type mentality across almost all commodities. Now we may see that shift here if this dollar can continue its uptrend. Uh, crude oil up a buck eighty, so uh, pretty strong. One hundred three thirty. Uh, still for the week, we're right about where we started the week. And we're up about 25 cents for the week. So uh, overall, uh, we've, we've seen some higher trade. We did go down uh, a little lower as well, but for the week we're finishing right about where we started. Stock market down 30 points, having a rough week, down 168 as far as a weekly trade. And uh, you know, overall today rather quiet, but still in the red, about 30 points. The metals. Uh, quite a bit higher today, $16 higher in gold, $0.65 cents higher in silver. Uh, and as I've reported here the last few days, though, we've been absolutely smoked for gold and silver. The markets have been down. They've been down sharply. They finished the week quite a bit lower, even with today's gains. So $41, uh, $41 lower in gold, $0.80 cents lower this week for silver. Uh, so it's uh, it's been a pretty negative week as far as the metals. In livestock, fat cattle. Uh, we did have a little recovery today, so we were up about 50 cents. Cattle had a rough week as well. We're at 118.40 right now for these Aprils. Uh, you know, with the cattle, the trend is down. The two trendy, the two trending markets right now, the most trending markets, the beans, which is up, and the cattle right now, which is down. But maybe a little bit of short covering here to finish out the early week. Uh, we still had box beef trading lower. Box beef down at buck forty-two, uh, select down eighty-nine cents. We're continuing to see this grind lower. We're not expecting a bottom right now in the cattle yet, um, so we're still looking for these bounces as selling uh, opportunities yet. So, uh, so continue looking at that. Today was a little bit of a, a feel-good day, but uh, we'll see if it can finally catch some legs here next week. But the trend is down right now. As far as the hogs, a little different story. Usually we see a seasonal bottom come in this time of year where we do start seeing the hogs trend uh, a little higher as we go into summer. Uh, we had the Aprils up about 80 cents. June's uh, bouncing about a $1.60 today. So well off of the lows, we could be trying to form this bottom in here, uh, but very strong yet. We've not taken out some resistance yet, so I can't tell you we've bottomed, 
But uh, it does look pretty good. The charts have turned in the hogs, and we've got to take out some resistance levels yet uh, before we can uh, we can look for some higher prices. So give us a call over here. It is a shortened week. Nothing tomorrow. Um, but that report, uh, USDA report out on Tuesday, uh, so we could see a pretty wild day come Monday. But give us a call with any questions you have at 800-262-7538 or check us out right there on the web, allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great uh, great day today. Happy Easter to everybody out there as well.